Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to check about, we're going to learn about index in SQL. So this is going to be a quick video on indexes, how we create indexes, why we need indexes and how to choose the columns for uh, creating indexes. So let's see the definition. Indexes are used to retrieve data from the DB, from the database more quickly than otherwise. So for example, you have a select query and the particular table has a lot of values so it can take a lot of time to give you the result give you the output so indexes are used so that your so that you get the output so that you get the output of that particular select query quicker okay so users cannot see the uh, see the indexes so the indexes are created but the users cannot see it they are used to speed up searches or queries as i already said if you have a huge table which has a lot of values it will help you in speeding up the search, the select queries. Updating a table with indexes takes more time than updating a table without one. So what this means is, you should use indexes only where you, you're gonna select values. If you're gonna update values uh, quite frequently, it's advisable if you don't use index in that particular table. So this is, an, this is a syntax for uh, creating an index. So create index idx underscore last name. This is, what I, this is going to be the index name. You can give it any particular name. So create index, index name on, on whatever table. So the employees is the table name on whatever table name. And in brackets you have to write the column name. So in this case I'm going to write last name. You can also have more than one column name in uh, when you create an index. So it can be last name, comma, another, any other column. In, okay. So, so this is how we create indexes. Now, how to choose columns when creating an index? Now, you, now you will ask me how to know which column name to write over here if we are creating an index on a particular table. So, it is advisable, okay? It is advisable that columns that appear in where clause or join condition, those columns should be written here when you are creating an index. Indexes should be avoid, avoided in tables that have frequent or large updates or insert operations. So wherever a particular table has a lot of inserts, a lot of updates, ha updates happening, you should avoid avoid creating index. Okay. So uh, this is why indexes are need uh, needed. Indexes are needed so that you can you can uh, use select queries and you can get the output quicker. Uh, and that's it. And there are two types of indexes cluster index and non clustered index which will be covered in another video for now just know that there are two types of indexes clustered and non clustered index i have an entire video on indexing and an, an, an in-depth video on indexing i will make sure to link that video so do check that out to understand indexing better so i hope you like like the video so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye